And the river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from there it was divided and became into four headwaters. The name of the first headwater is Pishon, that is, which encompasses the whole land of Havilah, where there is gold, and the gold of that land is good. There is Bedillium and the onyx stone, and the name of the second river is Gihon, the one that encompasses the whole land of Cush, and the name of the third river is Hidekel, that is, it which goes toward east of Assyria, and the fourth river is Euphrates. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to till it and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, You may freely eat of every tree of the garden, but you will not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and bad, for in that day that you eat of it you will surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man Adam should be alone, I shall make a helper for him corresponding to him. And out of the ground the Lord formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever Adam called every living creature, that was its name. And Adam gave names to all cattle, to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found a helper for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. And he built the rib which the Lord God had taken from man into a woman and brought her to the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She will be called, be called wife, Ish, Isha, because she was taken out of husband, Ish. Therefore, a man will leave his father and his mother and will cling to his wife, and they will become one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed.